This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. As a nation, as we contend with the events that took place on January 6th, the day of the insurrection, the attempted overthrow of the United States government, the attack on the Temple of Democracy, the Capitol building, where the Congress, where the People's House is, the attempted overturning of a free and fair election. As we contend with this as a nation, as those wounds heal, both literal wounds of the people who defended the Capitol that day and the psychic wounds of a nation, uh, there are still people out there who are facing legal consequences. And there are people on both sides of, of the issue. I hate the word both sides. Donald Trump has ruined that forever. But there are people who hold, I believe, radical views on what should have taken place on that day. I have talked many times about Ashley Babbitt, the killing of Ashley Babbitt. I believe it was justified. The authorities who investigated the shooting believe it was justified. Uh, I believe that she was a QAnon separatist, conspiracy theory, dangerous person caught up in a movement uh, spurred on by Donald Trump. It's callous it seems to me, to say that she got what she deserved. But it's not far off that. I do, tr listen, uh, I, I talk about this on my podcast a lot, that I, I, I never want to punch down. I always want to be the guy who punches up. And to, in some degree, it is punching down to attack a woman who was killed because of her delusions. But the greater damage to be done by that movement that she believed in is a damage to all of us, is a damage to people who it would be punching down to attack. The underrepresented, the disenfranchised in this country, those who don't get the same kind of justice that I do because of how I look, because I'm a white man. And even Democrats, I'm going to play this voicemail. I'm taking a while to get there, I guess. But even, even people who are liberal or agree with my, my viewpoints, for the most part, have, I think, off-base opinions about what should have taken place relative to action against the insurrectionists. And uh, here's the first voicemail. Uh, my question is, and I have not heard this, even though I watch a fair amount of news and, and commentary, is on January 6th, why was nobody really shot? I mean, why didn't they stand back at 10, 20 feet from the door, and when they started coming through the door, start shooting them? That was a breach. I think if they would have been black people doing that, they would have been shot. They clearly were breaking the law. There was no consequences. I have not seen anyone answer this question uh, at all. And maybe with your military background, I know it's not the same as police. I just don't understand. You know, I'm almost 60 years old, and I don't understand why people were not piled up at the doorways. Thanks. Bye. Well, let me um, listen. One, I appreciate anybody who's passionate enough to be involved in politics and thinking about these issues. But what I would have people do is to to extrapolate out, I'm probably misusing that, the, the form of the word, but to, to draw out, expand out uh, what they're saying. And if it had been Black Lives Matter people attempting to enter the Capitol last summer during, in, the, in the aftermath of the uprising of George Floyd's killing, his murder, if cops had en masse just piled up bodies and killed them, there would have been justifiable outrage. People would have said this was a heavy-handed, authoritarian, despotic, tyrannical response. And they would have been right. And even though the, the machinations and the unconstitutional, the traitorous, treasonous, treacherous, getting a liter literative here, uh, e even though their motivations were all of those things, we can't have a government that is so quick to kill extrajudiciously, extra-constitutionally. We have a, a system of laws 
They talk about the rule of law all the time. I talk about the rule of law all the time. There's a system by which we punish people. And it is not through summary judgment on the spot, assassination or killing or or um, a response like that. The ultimate response, taking someone's life. So listen, I believe they need to be punished. And I believe that in certain cases, like with Ashley Babbitt, it, it was justified. But to just mow people down as they enter the building, mm -mm, I can't get down with that. These people deserve justice. They, they deserve their day in court. They deserve their speedy trials. And they deserve blind justice. As far as I can tell now, they're not receiving that. They are receiving preferential treatment. They are receiving light sentences. That's a problem because that's not justice. That is uh, them having undue privilege in a legal system that prefers them, that was designed by people who look like them to benefit other people who look like them. When they were insurrectionists who attempted to overthrow the United States government in a, thank God, failed coup. But I, I just, listen, I disagree. I think a lot of people out there are going to disagree with my disagreement. But that is uh, how I see it. One more call on this topic, not of this opinion, but also dealing with the Justice for J6 movement. Hey, Jesse, it's uh, Richard Dillon from Deep Red, Western Kentucky. Uh, I wanted to call and comment about this uh, Justice for J6 rally on Saturday. Um, that's one thing I we can agree with all these people on. Yes, there needs to be justice for J6. I mean, five people were murdered because these idiots wanted to have their little insurrection that was actually against the law. You know, if, if I get drunk and get out driving my car and breaking the law and somebody dies, I'm charged with at least manslaughter. You know, I have to face the consequences for my actions Absolutely. causing someone to die. I mean, why is it different for these people? They did some stupid bullshit. They broke the law, and people died. And the ones you see getting sentenced, they're not getting nothing out of it. They're getting a slap on the wrist. So, yes, we all need to demand justice for J6 for the people that died. And these people need to get real punishments in the real world. All right. Thank you, Jesse. Thanks for what you do every day. Bye-bye. I like that. That's a great point. Uh, justice cuts both ways. Uh, I'm writing here, justice goes both ways, mercy versus punishment. But also, at the end there, a, a very poignant uh, perspective that justice cuts both ways because justice will also be served for the people who are victims of the crime. Justice, if these people are let off, there is no justice for the victims. If the people are punished too harshly, then there wasn't true justice for the perpetrator of the crime. That's why we talk about justice being blind. About justice being meted out dispassionately. Objectively. Great perspective. I appreciate the call. If you too would like to sound off, if you'd like to get your voice and your opinion on the record or ask me a question or call me a name or dissent, I welcome that. Uh, reasonable people can disagree about things, even important and passionate uh, topics. But I'd love to hear from you. Uh, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for engaging with my content. Thank you for subscribing. Click on the like button. You ever listen to a, a YouTube video and uh, they say, oh, click the like button. And you're like, oh, they, everybody says that. And then you just ignore it. Right now, you're right now, you who's just listening, just click the like button and we'll see what kind of a response we can get. And I'd love to see as an experiment, an unofficial, unscientific one, 
But I'd love to see if it actually does something to the algorithm to send the video into other people's feeds and get uh, more eyeballs. Anyway, uh, if I bring you value, please consider supporting my work. You can become a channel member by clicking the join button below, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and become a patron over there. That also supports my work here on YouTube. Love you guys. See you next time. Until I do be genuine. Take care of one another.